My name is Trudy. I'm from the hood. I'm from Opelika. <laughs> They say I used to, um, I guess like one of the neighbors had a dog and the dog used to bark. Instead of me saying roof, roof, I used to say something else. So they started calling me Tootie after that. So yeah, that's how the name Tootie came up. I ain't gonna tell y'all what I used to say, but that's how the name Tootie came up. Me, bitches talking, but jocking me. That right there. Okay. Um, first with boss bitch. I really felt like that record is for um the dudes. Like, you know, sometimes we as females we feel like like we on our shit. Like, so when we put ourselves on that pedal stool, it's like you gotta let us be us. Like, let us talk our shit. Like. Let me talk my shit like I'm a boss bitch. Let me let me be me. Hey, Don, do you I don't know. Like one day I just woke up and I just I just started listening to the beat and I don't know. Like the words just started coming to me. Like I just ended up finishing it, but it took me like a couple of weeks to finish that record. So I can't really explain like how the record came about. Like the words just kind of came to me. records because it's part of a true story so um when I was maybe like 19 years old I used to work at this um shoe store and next to the shoe store was a Chinese restaurant on um 135th and open lock off the one way they sit in the plaza where um the McDonald's and the gas station at so it was actually a dude named Blake he was Chinese and he really used to like me like Blake liked me he was a Chinese dude and he would bring me 
I used to make him like give me food. So he would bring me a plate of food from his mom's restaurant. Like his mom owned the Chinese restaurant next door. So he would bring me food and I used to be like, I need some money. So he would literally put a hundred dollars on top of the plate and slide the food to me. So, um, Don't Stop just basically came from, I'm talking about Don't Stop, I'm sorry. Um, all around the world just came from me just experiencing with like different dudes or whatever, different cultures and stuff. And I just kind of like thought about putting it in the song and just making it something fun. So, um, Kylie, she's um, an upcoming artist as well. And I really, like, I fuck with her. Like, I fuck with her music. And I was like, you know what? Um, I told her, I was like, I wanted her to be on my mixtape. So at the, at, at the beginning, I didn't know exactly, like, what the song was going to be. I had sent her the record. Like, we, she had the record for maybe, like, two months before we actually figured out, like, what the record was going to be about. And um, when she sent me her verse, she, she did her verse over, like, maybe three times. And I was just so like inspired that she was so focused and like that she really wanted to, you know, do the record with me. So when she sent me her verse, like I said, like the first verse she ever sent me, I was like, this the record right here. Like I, I loved it. So um basically that's just kind of how that went. She did the record and here we go, all around the world. So I was just kind of um, feeling the beat when I wrote that record, I was just like, I don't know, like, pass the hookah. And I was like, you know, um, shit, I'm on my cute shit. Like, just thinking about when I'm in a club and you know how you chilling with your homegirls and shit. She taking too long to pass the hookah. I'm like, bitch, hurry up and pass me the hookah. Like, I'm feeling myself. <laughs> you know how that be. Like, sometimes, you know, you have that friend that'll hold the hookah all night. Like, bitch, pass the hookah. So, that's kind of where that record was um, inspired from. Me just thinking about a club moment that I had with my homegirls. Baker Man. Y'all probably not gonna believe me, but I honestly think I wrote that record in like 20 minutes. Probably 10 minutes. Um, That's the last record I wrote on the album. I actually caught writer's block in the midst of working on the album. Um, I just went through something and I couldn't like, I couldn't focus, like I couldn't write. So I, I don't know, like, like I say, sometimes I just let my music, like I let the beats talk to me. So I just um woke up in the middle of the night and um shit, I just started writing. Like everything just started coming. Like I think that's the fastest record I ever wrote in my life. And It's just, that shit just came to me. Like, it just came to me. And I end up naming it once I actually sat there and listened to everything. You know, I wanted it to be different from everything else that I had written on the album. So I ended up naming it Baker Man. Like, so back to the record Tootie. Um, one day I was in the studio with um, Don, Don B. And he actually made that beat from scratch for me. Like, he he sat there and made that beat for me. Like, in a couple of hours, he did it. Maybe not even a couple of hours, but he made that beat from scratch. And um, I just was kind of like, I don't know. Like, I, it was just a vibe. Like, we, we both caught a vibe, and it went from there. As far as with, um, Ripper, I didn't actually sit down with him in person. But um, through my manager, I was able to get the beats from Ripper, and here we go, like, Bag Dad Tootie, the EP is complete. Hell yeah, we got more music um, coming. I'm focused and ready for my next EP, which is gonna be super, super better. I'm more excited about it. Um, like I say, listen to the album. That's kind of a hard one because I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Like I really don't listen to other people's music. Not being arrogant or big headed or nothing, but it's like I really 
don't but when i do if i do listen to music i listen to um i go back like i go back to like the old little kim records the eve records the missy elliott records um i listen to tupac i listen to jay-z i love drake music and i just kind of like try to listen to those people when i just put it together in my version and just come up with what i come up with um i want to work with everybody like whoever i can work with like it's no stopping me like i don't think it's the limit to who i'm who i want to work with or who i'm willing to work with i'm willing to work so i feel like that's all that matters so i'm gonna be honest with y'all before i started rapping i used to write um poetry i used to write poetry and um whoo y'all ain't gonna believe me but me um and me one of my sisters and this other girl i was a big fan of destiny's child so it was three of us and you couldn't tell us we wasn't destiny's child and i used to <laughs> I used to sit there and um, write our music. And you know, back in the days, you used to have like the little tape recorder to where you can um, like re-record over stuff. So I would sit there and I would write our music or whatever, but nobody had ever told me back then that I couldn't sing. So that was the whole thing. I used to sit there and write R&B music until I realized like, Tootie, you can't fucking sing. So, <laughs> so it's like, as I started getting older, the music started progressing and I started getting more aggressive. And that aggressive music became rap. So that's how I started rapping. Hell yeah, I, um, I feel like I got an eye for, ooh, I'm about to fall. I feel like I got an eye for acting. Um, I wanna try, I wanna try some new things, but yeah, I'm looking forward to, um, to acting. So yeah, y'all might be seeing me on the set soon. Woo. I feel like, um, I've been on a long, dark road. So, um, these past couple of years, I've been positive, um, I've been staying out of trouble, so that's really something great for me. I haven't been incarcerated in a couple of years. Um, I did, a, um, I wouldn't say a bucket list, but as far as my New Year's resolution, one of my New Year's resolutions was to actually um, complete a whole album, so, well, the EP. So I did that, so that's like a check off my list, and I'm very proud that I was able to accomplish that. So, yeah, I done scratched that off the list for this year, and I got a couple of more things to accomplish, but yeah, I'm, I'm really proud that I was able to accomplish that right there. This year, some more goals. That I would love to accomplish this year. Yeah. Um, like I was saying, um, the EP was on my, was me completing the EP was um, something I wrote down for um, my New Year's resolution. So by me accomplishing that, I feel, um, I'm proud of myself because I've never actually completed a whole EP. So yeah, that um, just more life. Um, like I said, I wanna get into acting. I wanna, I wanna travel, um, more networking. Some, um, I want to get some shows outside of Miami. Just, you know, basically just start branding myself more and getting myself out there more so the world could know who 2D is. Um, yeah, I'm don't give up because the moment that you do give up is the moment that you fail. And it gets very, very challenging, but you know, you just got to have a strong mind and stay focused and that's really it go stream that ep right now bad dad suity out on all platforms